All right, guys, today we're going to be doing a review on the new SBD new sleeves. I just bought these, and I have the receipt to prove it. They did not send them to me for free, so this can be my honest review of these. Uh, first impressions, they're a lot softer than the OGs. Now, these have been with me literally since I started in the IPF, so it's going to be weird to be lifting on some different knee sleeves, but I've heard really good things about them, so let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so again, just kind of first impressions. There are a lot. The texture on the outside is a little bit different than the original ones. This is more of in line to what the inside feels like. The older ones always feel a, uh, feel a little bit more squishy, and these are a little bit more thin. So I'm not sure how that's going to impact the performance of these knee sleeves, but I do like the texture on the outside. So. Um, I guess what's left is to try these on and see how they go. One quick thing, actually, I always use a medium. Now, per their charging or charging site, um, I don't have the um, measurements for the mediums. So the first time I ever bought SBD knee sleeves, I got the smalls, and they were extremely difficult to put on. I mean, I almost to the point where they were just absolutely killing me to put on so i've always kept with the mediums now a lot of lifters will size down won't size up but in my case i just could not get a small on but i know a lot of lifters size down so taking a gamble and actually ordered the smalls and i want to see if somehow i can adjust to wearing the right knee sleeves for me because and i'll include a few videos here there's a lot of bunching behind the knee for me with these mediums on but they're the only ones that i could really get on comfortably so i'm going to show you how easy the mediums are for me to get on and then i'm going to show you how the small all right so if you have never put on an sbd knee sleeve before the easiest way and i'm sure there's different ways out there but i saw a video a long time ago of ray williams putting them on like this ah, that's how i try to do it so you do i would say more than halfway through for the top and then on the bottom, just fold up. So you kind of get something like that right there. All right, and then um, this is the left one. So you actually put that down here. And excuse my, mis my mismatched socks. I really don't, don't give a shit about socks. And you just leave that on up. Ah, see, that wasn't too bad. And again, these are the mediums. So you see, I get a lot of extra material back here um i mean this feels normal to me because that's what i'm accustomed to having but again that extra bunching here and just what a lot of other lifters say as far as downsizing i'm just curious to see if i could acclimate to that smaller size so let's go ahead and do the same thing with this uh small here well i'm a little nervous i don't know if this motherfucker is gonna fit over my knee now these, I tell you, feel so much thinner. They're very, um, very, very thin in comparison to the old school ones. But thinner doesn't always mean a bad thing. They just, um, they feel like they give a little bit more. Like I'm able to actually kind of like open them a little bit more. So let's see how this goes trying on a small. And one thing too, you always want to make sure the tag is in the back. So if you end up putting it on like that, you're going to have a pain in the ass uh, switching it around. You almost have to take it all off again and redo it. So one, two, three. Okay. So that wasn't that bad getting it on actually. The compression is much different on these. Oh, that's weird. Get that little bit of gap there. You see that? That's 
Hmm. That's weird. I guess with my thick but also short legs, I'm always going to have a little bit of extra material on there. Not going to lie, guys. This feels way more secure, even a size up than these. These feel very much like they're weightlifting these sleeves. I really don't know. Um, hmm. Like this feels like it's like just locked in. Like it's just like, for a lack of a better term, like completely just attached to my knee. And this one feels like I can still put my hand in here. And this one does not. Hmm, that's strange. But what we're gonna do is I go ahead and put both on and we'll be right back. All right guys, so one thing real quick I wanted to show, I've been wanting to show off this product for a long time. I, my, one of my buddies actually randomly sent these to me. He sent me the link on Instagram and I apologize, I do not remember the company, but I will put them in the description below. I'll check my email. These, here, come, come get closer. Take a look at this. These are a really neat invention for actually for sliding on the knee sleeves and I'll demo them um, in just a few moments for you, but it's a really actually pretty cool design. You get a really tough plastic here with two straps on the opposite end. And let me show you how they work. A lot of the times at meets, I'll see people really struggling to put knee sleeves on and sometimes requiring like the assistance of a coach or something like that. So you've got a flat side and a rounded side. What you do, you actually stick the rounded side underneath the knee sleeve and then tuck that extra strap out. So it looks like something like that. And then same thing for the other side. Just push that all the way in there. Tuck that knee sleeve. Boom, take the strap out. Now watch closely. You're gonna grab the top one, put it here underneath it, and then pull. And same thing with this one here. Oh, oh sorry, wrong way. I haven't really used these much at all, so. Now you're going to heave up one, two, three. <clears throat> okay. Now what you do before anything, slip them out like so, and then fit these to the knee, just like we did the other one. Now that went a little bit smoother. I don't think I was able to pull it up any higher or anything like that, but a little bit easier maybe if you don't have someone to help you put the knee sleeves on. I've seen lifters require two people to take their knee sleeves off at meet. So these guys go super tight with the knee sleeves. I like a nice grip, but I don't want it to be where I can't feel my fucking toes by my second lift. So anyways, really, really cool product. If you guys wanna try them out, I will definitely send, or sorry, put a link in the description below. It's a little small, little thing, uh, super easy to throw in a gym bag and carry. I'm a big fan of these. That was a lot easier to put on than my right side was. So what's left to do now is put some squat shoes on and let's see how these perform. It's really hard to tell with lighter weight, so we're gonna go ahead and just cut right now and come back when I've got my working sets or my working set weight here. First impressions, it doesn't really feel like I have knee sleeves on. Um, they don't feel loose, I just don't feel it very tight and secure, if that makes any sense. I mean, again, it could be just because I'm so used to my, my older knee sleeves, but I was thinking sizing down would be super, super tight, but these, don't feel like anything. Um, uh, it's hard to explain. I, I hope I'm doing a decent job. They just don't feel as secure. I feel a little loose, but this is lightweight. Let's go ahead and bump up to our working sets. I believe today we're gonna be working up to um, 240, 245 kilo on the squat. So I'm gonna go ahead and get warmed up and I'll see you guys back when we got some real weight on here and let's see how these guys perform under some real weight. They're starting to feel a little bit better. Um, I don't know. It's a uh, I don't feel more support than the original ones. 
Um, but I don't feel less support either. So it's, I don't know, it's, it's, it's actually, it's strange. It's strange. Um, into getting used to, I mean, they feel tighter as I've kind of warmed up. If that makes any sense, maybe the sweat. I'm not sure, but we'll see with this heavier, um, heavier weight how it feels. So this is 235, like 518, 520 around there. <laughs> Definitely not as, oh shit, we have to get a new belt soon. Not as springy, but still I felt very secure through the lift, even the come up. I just didn't feel that initial bottom spring I feel with the stiffer knee sleeves. Is that a bad thing? I don't know, just they're, they're two totally different knee sleeves. Like, I can't tell, again, like my previous statement, if it was just because I'm used to the older ones, that very mill could be it. But I definitely feel like less spring. So like when you're in that bottom position shooting up, with the older, stiffer ones, I feel more springy. But these, as I've warmed up in them, feel now much tighter around my knee instead of being tight around my thigh and calves, this I feel the pressure is more in my knee, now that I've kind of, or compression, not pressure, in my knee now that I've kind of started actually training with them and getting to the heavier loads where I'm gonna feel that difference because every little kind of degree one way or another feels different. I can't say yet if they're better or worse, they just, they're, they're totally different. They're totally, totally different, especially on the heavy squats. So I've got two more sets here, but I think this is the only one I'm gonna record for now. I still have not made up my mind yet. Let me go ahead and finish this workout. I've got two more sets of three at this weight, and I'll come back with my final thoughts. But right now, I really can't tell you guys if I like one or the other better. They're definitely different. I don't know if these are better or the older ones are better, but they're totally, totally different. So this is my last set here. I figured I wanted to record one more and see if anything changed on my third set wearing the new knee sleeves now that I'm a little fatigued from the previous two sets. Still stand by the statement, much less springy, but a little bit more compression around the front of the knee. Here's the fun part, taking these son of a guns off. I already got one off, and that was a hell of a struggle. Let's see. <clears throat> you gotta go in with commitment. <clears throat> I knew these were gonna be hard. Because of the smaller size. Holy shit. <sighs> now I see why lifters need a couple guys to help with this. Uh, this is my life now. One knee sleeve on. Holy crap. Okay, here we go. Okay. Not so bad. Uh, the left was better than the right. Whew. Um, well, the knee sleeve survived, which I knew it would. SBD makes great products. Whether it's wrist wraps, belts, they just make the best equipment, period. So they always keep lifters in mind. And you can't go wrong with a company who gives a shit about its customer base and wants nothing but the best uh, for them, from them, and they provide the best equipment. So hands down, SBD is a company, 10 out of 10. Um, my verdict on this knee sleeve is undetermined at the moment. I think that I'm gonna have to train 
a little bit more with them. Um, sorry for my heavy breathing. I just finished my last set. Um, but I wanted to give like that fresh thoughts, that fresh impression. They put out a knee sleeve, I'm going to say about a year, year and a half ago, that was kind of more geared towards like uh, weightlifting. You know, one that was like, I think they marketed it as like when you don't need as much support or compression. And they feel or they felt um, a lot like uh, these feel, you know. But these, I would say, are definitely, best way I can put it, it's in the middle of the old knee sleeves, the OGs. Actually, pause. Let's see if I can find one. We're back again. So, this is the original. This is the, I would say, I would call it the weightlifting one. A lot more flexibility. Not a ton of compression, but you still had knee sleeves on. I would say this is probably more for just like the mental, you know, you have something on, you feel a little bit more secure. Probably great for snatches um, and cleaner jerk that require way more flexibility. And then we have the new ones, the powerlifting seven millimeter. I think truly y'all that this new one is the best way that I can put it as far as feel is dead in between these two. The OG, super stiff, springy on the squat, not a lot of flexibility, very, very tight throughout the entire leg. These guys here, a lot of compression and support just in the middle. I could wear these all day. These, I'm ready to take them off as soon as I am done squatting. Is that a bad thing? I don't necessarily think so. And then these, again, are just a, you know, snatch, clean and jerk, maybe for light front squats, light squats, something that you don't want to have that full, full compression in, but you do want to have knee sleeves on. I know guys that will not touch a weight without wraps or a belt, and there's nothing wrong with that. You know, we, we're allowed these items on the platform, so why not train with them and get used to them? So I would definitely say OG Stiff, that lighter, lighter one they came out with a year ago, super, super flexible. And then I would say the new one is for sure just like dead, 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 right in the middle. If these two were to have a baby, it would be this new one. That's probably the best way that I can put that. Again, not necessarily a bad thing. It's just different. So I would say if you can, pick yourself up some. I think I paid like 150, 160 for these with shipping and taxes. Um, they got here in like a week. If you have the extra dough, definitely pick them up and formulate your own opinion on them. I mean, I think it's a great product. I just need more time with it to tell you if they're actually better than the OG ones. Um, I'm gonna continue training with them. You're welcome to follow me. I'll try to post a little bit more on Instagram. Um, I'll put my handle down here below. You guys are welcome to follow. And if you found this video informative or helpful or even entertaining at all, a like and a sub would be really, really cool as I'm trying to grow the channel and I'm almost to a thousand followers where I'm almost halfway there. And it'd be really, really cool to be able to spread these videos out a little bit more to other people and hopefully share some knowledge and just my general opinion on stuff. Again, guys, thanks so much for watching and we'll catch you in the next video.